Uh, greetings fandom, my name is Andre. Uh, this video was originally going to be a six things video, but I'm just going to like cut it down to three for now because my memory is running out. And this is about vaccine hesitancy. Like, I know uh, the COVID-19 pandemic has really changed everyone's lives, all our lives, one way or another. And while, they, uh, while there may be a lot of people that are super duper excited for this pandemic to end, before that happens, the people must do some certain things first, all right? Like the people need to need to come together. There, there, there has to be a social and moral responsibility, a moral obligation that they must do before that can happen. And that is get vaccinated, all right? Like I have here like this syringe that I had during my my med school days, and like. Uh, <laughs> It's, uh, I'm going to like show this to you as a demonstration and the primary reason, uh, uh, there are a lot of reasons actually as to why uh, there are people who are hesitant to get that shot. And so I'm going to like uh, address just the three of them here. Obviously the most common one being they're afraid of needles, alright? Uh, I'm, I'm just going to like let you know uh, if I can just... Uh, aim that over here like straight to the camera lens okay like I'm, I'm just going to let you know that like the the syringe uh like like the needle of the syringe uh like the the pain of of that shot is not by how long the needle is but rather by how thick the needle is like the thicker the needle the more painful it's gonna be like Literally, you can you can ask anyone who has already received at least one dose of the COVID nineteen vaccine. If it's those if it's those needles that are just really thin, those those really thin needles, like it's not going to hurt that much. It's just going to be like a pinch, like a, a bite from an ant. If you got bitten by an ant before, you would know that like it doesn't really do shit. It just pinches. That's exactly. How you're gonna feel after getting that that shot you know it, it doesn't really do anything all right I got vaccinated like quite a few times before in my life and you know based on personal experience yes uh, and another reason is that they have speculations they they have speculations of, of the vaccine I, I would just like to let you know that like uh, uh, the, that like these these vaccines were 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 given trials like there were trials clinical trials that have been uh, that that they have, that have been performed by 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 these medical experts from all over the world and then they also got these volunteers who are willing to get themselves the shots also from all over the world. The reason why I say all over the world is they have to make sure that these vaccines work on all types of uh on all types of people like may be from 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 all lifestyles or from all blood groups from all blood types yeah they have to like make sure of that like you get what i mean here i'm not going to like mention this uh i'm not going to like mention this in a way that it'll sound sophisticated because like that's not my that's not the way how i do these videos all right but like yes uh, there has been this, this this these clinical trials have been peer reviewed, and they have taken these up from the previous studies, the previous studies that they have done at least seventeen years ago, like those studies that they have done with SARS and MERS, MERSCOV, like those are also coronaviruses, and they just took these these vaccines from these pre existing studies, which has led us here now. Which I hope it'll do for the better. And the third one, which I think is the most ridiculous one, which has been brought up by the Karens on social media, which has been called out by Facebook themselves for 
for spreading misinformation, fake news, false uh, false pieces of information that some people might believe in, which is which is by the way very dangerous to to mention. Like, thank you, Mr. Mark Zuckerberg. You have been a bitch to many memers like me and Paul Rusty, my friend. But at least letting them know the truth about these vaccines is what we will thank you for. Okay? Thank you. Thank you for that. And I hope we can be good friends, Mr. Zuckerberg, because it'll be nice. <laughs> I'm going to mention these crazy reasons one by one, is that these vaccines cause autism, these vaccines get mind control, these vaccines track you, they could turn you into a zombie or whatever. Okay, I'm going to mention these one by one, okay? Like, first of all, uh, you do not get infected with autism, you are born with it, okay? Like, those people who have it, they have it since birth. Okay, they have it since birth and they have to be like properly diagnosed by, by a psychologist or psychiatrist. Like I am not really a major in that field, but like, yes, they have to be diagnosed with that. Okay, and they are born with it. They are definitely born with it. Okay, and another is, what was it that I mentioned again? These, uh... The, these these uh, vaccines give you mind control. Like, okay, so if these vaccines give you mind control, who is controlling? Who's the one controlling uh, their minds? Well, other than the hive mind that is being portrayed by other social media platforms. This one uh, is a different scenario, okay? Like, uh, how is it going to, how is it going to uh, control minds? And, and how is it going to be shown? How is it going to be displayed in some way that their minds are really being controlled? It does not do that, okay? And uh, the third one that I mentioned was that uh, these vaccines can track you. Listen, all right, if anything, uh, you're, you have already been tracked this entire time. Like the moment you hold on to your phones, your, your, your computers, your gadgets, your consoles, whatever you the fuck you have over there, you are being tracked. And for good reason, okay? Like, w wherever there's an emergency, like whenever there's a, an emergency that is hitting you or any of your friends, your relatives, your family, like, those, uh, those people who are in charge of these consoles will track you down to let you know that, hey, they're in a very, very uh, conspicuous situation. Can you like go to this location over here and let them know that? Yeah, that's exactly why they're tracking you. If anything, they are tracking you for good and not for those very uh, weird conspiracy theory reasons, okay? And last but not the least, they say vaccines can turn you into zombies. Okay, listen. There have been several countries that implement laws that require you that require you to vaccinate your baby your child your infant and if that were to be true you would have seen zombie babies by now like those 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 little those little cunts that are just crawling outside of their cribs and go rah i'm going to eat your brains i'm going to eat your I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna eat your head. I'm gonna eat your, your limbs like that. Have you seen babies crawling like that? No, because like, if vaccines can really turn them into zombie, to, to people into zombies, you would have seen baby zombies by now, which have not been seen whatsoever on social in, in any types of media whatsoever. So like, yes, uh, if it's your turn, please get your COVID nineteen vaccine shot and encourage everyone you know to please get their shot as well then and only then can we end this pandemic for good and have a better life that's all i'm gonna say that's all i'm gonna say <laughs>